Hi, I'm Pakola, Senior Developer Advocate at Grafana. In this video, I'll show you how to perform a DNS check using Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring. DNS checks are essential way to verify if your domain resolves to the correct response and measures how quickly that resolution occurs. This can help you catch DNS issues before they affect users and verify whether DNS issues are at the root of your application or infrastructure performance issues. Before we walk through DNS checks, let's walk through what Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring is. Grafana Cloud Synthetic Synthetic monitoring is a black box monitoring solution that allows you to monitor services and applications by running checks from public or private probes located globally. This allows you to assess the availability and performance and correctness of these services and applications with ease. Users can perform a wide variety of checks from browser checks, ping checks, TCP checks, HTTP checks, scripted checks, and DNS checks. Let's return back to DNS checks and walk through how to set up your first DNS check with Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring. A DNS check ensures that a domain name resolves correctly to an IP address and measures the average time for that resolution to happen. Behind the scenes, this works by sending automated requests to a DNS server and checking the results of the specific domain names, validating that the domain returns the correct IP address in their A records and other DNS record types. When a DNS server doesn't respond or when the search domain doesn't return the right IP address, Grafana Cloud Synthetic monitoring DNS checks, spot that issue and alert the right person on the team. Real-time DNS monitoring can help users identify and resolve network performance challenges before they impact users. The benefits of DNS checks include real-time DNS monitoring, which can help users identify and resolve network performance challenges before they impact users, security monitoring, which can help users detect DDoS attacks, and DNS poisoning attempts that could compromise your services. Global DNS validation, which can test DNS resolution from multiple locations worldwide to ensure consistent performance. Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring makes it easy to run DNS check from different locations all over the globe, then provides you with valuable insights into the connection success rate, response time, and service availability. Now let's walk through the steps required to set up your first DNS check. To get started, you'll need a Grafana Cloud account. Once you're on the homepage, open the main menu and navigate to Testing and Synthetics. Select Synthetics, Check, and then add Create a Check. Choose API Endpoint as the check type. Provide a job name, we'll select the name, example, colon DNS. Select a request type, we'll choose DNS. Select a request target, we'll choose target URL, grafana.com. You also have additional request options. You can specify the record, the server, the protocol, and the port. Let's move on to step two by clicking the define uptime button. Select the, your valid response code. We have a variety of response codes to choose from. Add which response codes you're expecting to receive. We'll choose no error. Select timeout, we'll choose 10 seconds. And let's move on to step two by clicking the labels button. We recommend creating custom labels because they add additional information, which can be helpful if you are alerted about a test. Each label is using key value pairs. For the name, we'll choose N, and for value, we'll choose test. Let's move on to step four by clicking the execution button. In the execution section, you can choose between public and private probe locations. Grafana offers access to over 20 globally distributed probe locations. And for this test, we'll choose Oregon US and Singapore as the probe location. Further down the configuration page, you'll find the option to set the test frequency. We will configure the DNS check to run every one minute. Notice the additional information provided about the estimated usage of this check. Let's move on to our final step by clicking the alerting button. Effective alerting is essential for synthetic monitoring. When metrics deviate from the expected performance, alerts are the most effective way to trigger necessary action based on those metrics. We have two alerting options, per check alerts or legacy alerts. We recommend per check alerts, which allow you to create alerts based on the number of check failures in a specific time window. If you remember in the previous section, we had two probe locations, Oregon and Singapore, sending one request every minute. So in five minutes, there will be 10 executions. In this section, we can specify how many of the failures of the 10 executions we want to be alerted about. For this tutorial, we'll choose two of 10 execution failures in the last five minutes as the threshold to get alerted. Once our settings are configured, click save to initiate the test. You can also choose the test button to ensure that the test works before saving. At this point, your DNS check is now active and running. Our script has been running for a few hours, so let's review the results. Each synthetic monitoring check includes a pre-configured dashboard that offers key insights into your selected synthetic monitoring tests. 
This dashboard provides metrics such as uptime, reachability, average latency, and frequency. As you scroll through the dashboard, you'll also find additional charts that offer deeper visibility, including response latency by probe location. Additionally, you can see resource records for each probe location. All data and visualizations are updated in real time as the tests continue to run, allowing for continuous performance monitoring and faster issue detection. There you have it. You now know about Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring Solution and how to create a DNS check. You can check out Grafana Play Synthetic Monitoring to see a dashboard with a variety of running checks. If you want to learn more about Grafana Cloud Synthetic Monitoring, make sure to check out this documentation and I'll see you in the next video.